in this part i shall tell you about the structures of the respiratory system the upper respiratory tract involves the nose mouth pharynx epiglottis larynx and trachea the lower respiratory tract includes the bronchial tree and lungs as shown in this diagram here this is a diagram showing a human figure with a prominent nose the nose enters into the nasal cavity which is divided by a nasal septum which contains a mucous membrane the mucous membrane has mucus cilia and olfactory receptors for the sense of smell the nasal cavity the next structure in the respiratory system is the pharynx the pharynx is actually known as the nasopharynx which contains adenoids or pharyngeal tonsils this is also there is another part to it which has the oropharynx or the palatine tonsils and then the third part is the laryngopharynx which is actually the larynx or the voice box so then there is the epiglottis the epiglottis actually is serves as the or, or passage for food and air and it serves as a common passageway for oropharynx and la laryngopharynx epiglottis acts as a lid or flap that covers the larynx and trachea the trachea being the airway so food does not enter the lungs the next part is the larynx or the voice box this is the vocal apparatus it contains vocal bands or vocal cords the next structure happens to be the trachea the trachea is also known as the windpipe or airway it has a membrane which is lined with cilia and contains mucus it is made of smooth muscles with c shaped cartilage rings it divides into two bronchi branches the bronchi in this trachea there is no exchange of gases then we have the next structure that is the bronchus which is singular and bronchi which is plural and there are two bronchi these bronchi are contain c shaped cartilage rings with smooth muscles each bronchi divides into bronchioles and each which in turn terminate into air sacs called alveoli the thoracic cavity contains the thorax and the mediastinum has got the organs like the heart the aorta the esophagus the bronchi and the thymus
alve alveoli are actually the air sacs these have very thin wall membranes and are one cell thick and are surrounded by highly vascularized blood capillaries and this is actually the site where gaseous exchange takes place the lungs have two lobes the right and the left the right has is further has got three lobes and the left has only two lobes each lung is enclosed in pleura parietal pleura is called the parietal pleura is found on the inner side and the visceral pleura is found on the outer side there is a pleural space which is called as the pleural cavity which contains lubricating fluid बीच में मैं वो गलत बोल रही थी उसको स्लाइड को उड़ा दें क्या बस तो ये तो फिर से करनी पड़ेगी तो देख लेते हैं अगर पता नहीं लग रहा कि गलत बोल रही क्या बोल रही तो चलेगा अरे यार एक वो लड़के ने वो देख ली कितनी मैडम उसे मेरे को फोन किया जैसे पहले मेरी तारीफ करी थी ना कि मैम आपने बहुत क्लियरली समझा मैम आपने ना गलत बोला है उसमें एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम में तो मैंने बोला कि बेटा मैंने तो ऐसी टाइम पास के लिए बनाई थी वो आप हिम्मत 